Hi, this is your host with Minute Earth. You can tell a lot about an animal just from its name. Take the water salamander, which has the scientific name Ambystoma mexicanum. The species name Mexicanum tells us where it's found in Mexico, and the genus name Ambystoma tells us that it's a type of salamander. Specifically, it's in a group of salamanders called the Ambystomatidae or mole salamanders. These are medium-sized, mostly aquatic salamanders with short, stout bodies and truncated short tails. They typically have rounded snouts and small eyes, and they get their name from their mole-like ability to burrow through mud and sand. There are ten extant species of Ambystoma that live in the U.S. and Mexico, and all but one of them are threatened or endangered. And now we get to the weird part. All of the mole salamanders, except for Ambystoma mexicanum, are fully aquatic as adults. They live their whole lives underwater. But a mexicanum. The Mexican axolotl is entirely terrestrial as an adult. It never goes back into the water. So why did this one salamander abandon its aquatic brethren? Well, it turns out that a Mexicanim evolved from a fully aquatic ancestor, but we don't know exactly when or why it took the unusual step of moving to land. One clue to the timing could be the fossil record. Unfortunately, there aren't any fossils of Ambystoma, but there are fossils of an ancient relative of Ambystoma called Ambystoma. This is a genus of about 25 extinct species that lived from about 400 million to 200 million years ago. And fossils of these early Ambystoma tell us that they were fully aquatic, just like their modern relatives. However, by 365 million years ago, some members of an early Ambystoma split off and began to evolve the traits we see in modern mole salamanders, like a more stout body shape and small eyes, which would have been useful adaptations. For living both on land and in.